Fertilization is the beginning of the pregnancy. The sperm enters the oocyte and cell division occurs. producing up to 32 identical cells. The result is the formation of the morula. Three days after fertilization, the morula enters the uterus and becomes a blastocyst. The uterus is already prepared to receive the embryo and during the sixth day after fertilization, it attaches to the uterine wall. Once implantation has occurred, the intimate connection between a mother and a fetus starts and the placenta begins to develop. At about day 13, the first mesoangioblasts form. These cell clusters are progenitors of blood vessels. From now on, organs and systems of the human body begin to develop. Day 20 of pregnancy. The embryo measures 1.5 millimeters. The blood vessels contribute in heart tube formation. Three days after the appearance of the first blood vessels, the heart tube has formed and the heart starts to beat. At the beginning, the heart forms a straight tube inside the pericardial cavity. With further development, the heart tube starts to bend over itself. A bulboventricular sulcus externally appears, and a bulboventricular fold internally appears, thus separating the bulbar part from the ventricular part. The proximal bulbar part gives rise to the primitive right ventricle, while the ventricular part gives rise to the primitive left ventricle. At the same time, left and right atrium develop. We are in day 29 of pregnancy. The embryo measures 6 to 7 millimeters. In the next few days, the atrioventricular canal, the pathway between atria and ventricles, forms. In the meantime, both interatrial septum and interventricular septum develop. The interventricular septum and the bulboventricular fold fuse in order to separate the right and the left ventricles. Meanwhile, the distal part of the bulbus gives rise to both proximal aortic tract and pulmonary artery tract. At day 37, the embryo measures 16 millimeters. The heart is about to take its definitive shape. In this phase, the heart completes interatrial and interventricular septal formation. At day 55, the embryo measures 40 millimeters. The heart is completely formed. The two circulations, the venous one and the arterial one, are separated. From now on, the heart is responsible for pumping blood throughout the human body.